So the muscles we're gonna use now, uh, they are uh, the you should have already existing setup of your skin bind. All your bones are there, all your meshes are binded to skin, and the weighting is done. And only then you can work with this uh, other system. If it's not there, you can go to Windows um, Plugin Manager, wherever it is, and make sure it's loaded in. Uh, where on earth is it? Here, probably under setting preferences, plugin and man manager, and we're looking for muscle. Ah, here it is, Maya muscle. It's loaded. So in this case, we already have uh, this uh, with skin. So if I rotate my bone, it works. Ugly as hell, but still works. So everything has to be done in order to use those muscles that we're going to talk about in a moment. So after everything is done, you select the mesh, you go to the form, you find a muscle, and uh, you go to skin setup and convert smooth skin to muscle system. Here you just disable skin cluster, and here is where we need this X uh, to know the axis. So it's X axis, and what Maya did is it built some sort of capsules here that we will gonna need, uh, well, muscle system is gonna use them. Uh, by the way, if you used any mirrored stuff, mirrored bones, some of them might uh, work not correctly and you will need to change their, their, um, their axis somewhere, somewhere here. So now in order to see, uh, to have an easier uh, time, we will uh, key some things. So I key my initial position, frame 6 might be something bends and I key it and I don't know maybe this does that oh, I didn't key it in the first keyframe and let's do something like that so we have some simple animation here and we're gonna move on so first we select this one And we go to deform muscle and we go to muscle objects. No, sorry, create, create, where is it? Simple muscle, muscle builder. So we select this one and it's our attach object one. And then we select the end or the beginning of the next one and it's the next one. So next thing what we're gonna do is here I'll hide this one for a moment. Display hide hide selection and I click build update and I get this. Now uh, let's say we might move our muscle positions a little bit. Oops, that's not what we want. Yes. So we get something. Now, of course, I don't like the muscle. We will, we could uh, do much of, uh, how do you say, we could do some editing. But here I will just get some presets from here. So let's just go ahead and say convert to muscle. Now I'll make a name for it. Of course, you would write something that makes sense. And you see we have, uh, again, why am I hitting space bar? So you have some, some, uh, you know, it works. So next thing what we're gonna do is we will unhide our our geometry and we select first muscle, next uh, our geometry. It's important this order and we go to deform, muscle, muscle objects and connect selected muscle objects. We give it a name, how to calculate. And next thing what we're gonna do is we select the mesh, we go to deform, muscles, Maybe I should actually go to frame one. So I'll go to muscle, paint muscle weights. And here we go. So not only we have, um, you know, the bones joint, but we have a muscle as well. And the muscle can do some influence here. Let's go to perspective here. And all right. So let's say it affects these areas here. Maybe it's too much again, but let's just try. Yeah, it's definitely too much. Maybe I will first assign everything to 
this joint and then I'll start over so we'll have some smaller value weight so might be a little bit more just right here anyways you will have to experiment a bit with that and as you see it juggles so of course lots of skin weighting should be done uh, more properly that's not right but we get a jiggle now I don't think you can export all this jiggle stuff to Unity directly through FBX and this sort of muscle setup will probably only work only when you work inside Maya till the end of your project unless you're gonna bake uh, animation for each vertex which is something else